Hi, it's Sine, and today I'd like to bring you a video about adding a Google Map to your self-hosted WordPress blog. Now please note, if you have a WordPress.com blog, this won't work for you. So, but if you are hosting your own blog, then uh, come take a look at this with me. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to go get a Google's Map API. They're free, they're easy to get, one to a customer, one per domain. Uh, but basically if you have a Gmail account or an Analytics or AdWords account, uh, you've got everything you need to get started. Uh, after we get the API key, we're going to uh, go get and install a WordPress plugin that will allow us to insert a, a small link and our API key, and it'll bring an interactive Google Map to your self-hosted WordPress blog. Now, I'll be using a brick-and-mortar business for a dentist located in Asheville, North Carolina for this, but of course, um, all you have to do is find your location on the map, and this process will work for you. So, if you're ready, Come on, let's get started. This will be easy. So, to get started, we're going to need to navigate to code.google.com slash APIs slash maps slash signup.html. Uh, place that in your address bar and it'll bring you to this page. Uh, essentially, we're going to log in with our Google as account and we're going to go get ourselves a map API. So, I'm going to sign in. And now that I'm signed in, I can come down. Uh, I am going to need to read this. This basically tells you what your terms of use are, uh, how you can use it, and why. Um, you're going to need to check that you've read that. Uh, you'll want to put your site URL in. Now this is the site uh, where you're going to be adding the map. It doesn't have to be the actual page. It can be a, the root domain, uh, which is something I recommend. Um, that way, if you if you later decide to change it, you're not going to break what's going on. So put your root domain in here, and then generate the API key. Okay, now that it's generated, we've got uh, several little pieces of information that Google is offering us. First is our key. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to open a little notepad document. I'm going to paste it here. We're going to need this again in a minute. Okay, next we're going to navigate to... Uh, this location. Once you've gotten here, uh, there is a plugin for us to download. Um, now, with if you're familiar with Plugin Central, all you really need is the URL for the for this zip file, uh, which is uh, the way I normally do it. But um, since this is a how-to video, we'll we'll add uh, how to add a WordPress plugin to this video. Just make it do double duty. Now that we're here. We can right click on download and save the link as. This will give us an opportunity to save it uh, on our local computer. Now I have a dedicated area that I save all my plugins to, um, which I, is where I'm going to save this one. So I'm going to save it. Okay, now it's located on my local computer, so let's go get uh, where that is. So at the same location, the, the plugins folder under blogging, um, we see the Google Maps Advanced has been downloaded here. I'm simply going to extract this right here to this location. And I should get a new folder called Google Maps. So I'm going to scroll down until I find Google Maps. Right here, Google Map Advanced. So this folder is what I need to upload to my plugin directory. To do that, I'm going to need FileZilla or some other FTP client that I can use to connect my computer to the remote computer. Now that I'm connected, I can choose the folder where I want to upload it. And I'm just going to navigate to the WP Content folder and under that plugins and this is the folder where I want to put it. So on the left hand side I'll just navigate to that same location. Okay, this is the folder that I want and I want it over here so I'm going to click drag and drop or right click and choose upload. This will push this folder over to the blog so that I can now go log into the back office or the dashboard of the blog and activate that plugin. Okay, I've logged into the uh, blog and I'm simply going to navigate now to the plugins folder and I'm going to scroll down and find the new inline Google Maps plugin and activate it. As we can see the plugin has been activated. So under plugins, or rather under settings, I uh, should have a new one called inline Google Maps. Select that 
and you'll find your settings page. So all we need to do now is copy our API key into this folder. Remember I have that right here, so I'm just going to go copy all of that and paste it right here. Okay, now I'm going to come back later and change this. I, I may want to make this a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, uh, and I'm going to kind of dial this in. But for now, I just want to go ahead and click Save. It's time, it's time for the next step. Basically, what Randy has done is he's gone out and he's found some maps, uh, and he's copied and pasted those images. Um, and this is great. I mean, he's done a great job in getting uh, the information in here so that anybody can find him. We want to take it one step further. We want to make the map interactive. So this is the page that we're going to be adding this to. So what I've done here is I've opened this page for editing. Um, and I've opened up a tab pointing to Google Maps, maps.google.com. Um, we're simply going to put his address in here and allow the Google Map to go find that location. And then we're going to dial it in. We're, we're maybe going to back out a little bit. Um, we're going to double click this so that it's centered. Um, we're going to make sure that that's the right area. Um, so when you get this dialed in and looking exactly the way you want, we're going to go grab this link right here. Now to do that, just hover over this, right click, and in Firefox you can choose Copy Link Location. In Internet Explorer it may be a little bit different, uh, but basically what you're looking for is that link. Now Google's made it easy for you, um, in, in addition to being able to right click and copy it, you can also click it once and this is the link that we want to grab. Uh, uh, if we want to frame this, we can just go copy this HTML right here. But this is the one I want you to just copy right here. And then what we're going to do is hop back over to where we're editing. And right above what he's already got in here, we're going to add uh, a new link. So let's just pop a little bit of text in there and then flip back over to visual. I want this to be a clickable link that points to that map. So I'm going to highlight it insert and then I'm going to copy or paste rather that map link URL uh, target I'm not, I'm not going to set it and I'm going to give it a title of Google Map and click insert then we're going to update or if this is a new page for you publish this page Okay, now that we've got that done, there's one other thing I want to show you. Um, the method I just we just finished does require you to use a plugin. Um, I did a little experimenting after the video was over and found there is a way to do this without the plugin, uh, which is fairly easy to accomplish. That same area where you grab the link, there is an HTML for an iframe. Um, now we can of course choose to customize it, uh, which is what I'd like to do is, is just um, decide how big and, and wide I want it. So we'll choose custom and I'll put a width in of say 590 with a height of perhaps 500. And if we tab off we're going to be able to preview it right here. So I can choose, you know that looks pretty good. Okay so now that I've customized the code I can come in here and using control A or right click and say select all um, I can select all of this code and then copy it and then what I did was just jump over to where I was editing the page and I actually pasted that now please note I'm on the HTML tab that is crucial so I pasted it right here this allowed me to add a little bit of extra um, information at the top um, for Google's search engine purposes I wanted to let people know where we were serving I wanted to reiterate the, the name um, the address and the phone number. So if I update this and then pop over to see what we've done here, we'll see that that image I brought in, that text that I brought in, and that link, uh, or rather that iframe that shows the map that I brought in, that's all here, and I'm doing it without the actual plugin. So if you're having trouble with your plugins, they don't play nice, or you're just not wanting to load an extra plugin, there is a way to make this work without the plugin. Uh, simply when you 
click the link button here, grab this iframe, and customize it accordingly. Okay, so thanks for letting me interrupt the end of this video. Uh, till next time, bye-bye.